Okay, so this is a video on how to get Snapchat on your computer, PC. Uh, Mac, I don't think it matters as long as you have Google Chrome and a Gmail account. Okay, so what you need to do is go to Chrome, obviously, and type in store. Oh, that's not how you spell it. Store. And it will bring you to Chrome Web Store, dash Google, I get dash Google doesn't really matter, but click on Chrome Web Store. It will bring you to the App Store, which you get all your games, and in this case, Snapchat for your computer. Um, I made sure I am signed in. That's up here in the corner, settings, and you'll be able to sign in with your Gmail account. So you search the store for Snapchat. And I'm really bad at, at typing, apparently. <laughs> so, whoa, spelled it wrong again. Snapchat. Okay, there we go. And it'll start searching. And you'll be able to find these. Okay, see, top of the list will bring Snapchat for PC. Do not get it as a waste of time. I tried that one. You have to pay for it because it uses Androck. It is a PC emulator for Android or iOS, and it does not work unless you buy it for like $50 or whatever. A none of Snapchat Center does not work either. It um, doesn't uh, upload any photo from your computer and send it to your friends without knowing it's you. It does not send, it does not work, so do not get it. iSnap is the one that we're looking for. It is pretty darn awesome. It is the only thing I like about on this computer right now. It has a couple bugs right now, but it works really good and I like it when I don't have my devices, mobile devices. So you click on free right here and you click add. It will bring it to here and it will be there, right there. So that's one right there on your Chrome app launcher. See, and if you don't have your Chrome app launcher, right down in your taskbar, go to start, search app, and right at the top, it'd be Chrome app launcher. So you kind of like click on that, and you can drag it right down here so it's there. Like, I already have mine there, so that's good. Click off, or in my case. So you click on that, and you open it. You use your credentials. In my case, uh, I'll cut the video so you don't see what I'm logging into. And uh, I'll be right back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Lucky contestant is uh, now going to be on YouTube. Okay, uh, my, my friend, I guess, right here. And she sent a Snapchat to me. It says, we barely talk anymore, so how am I supposed to know? I just asked her a question, so she replied. See the messages, uh, you can do a new snap. Uh, send to, and it'll show you a whole bunch of your list of people. And you see their stories by this. Uh, contacts home I guess and then messages which is I just you can save the image too uh, that's pretty much it you can log out or do whatever you want with it so that's the best thing I found out you can also download pictures which is really cool um that's that's pretty much it for this video uh, I suggest you rate it. It's incredibly good. And it works 100% all the time. Use it at school. It works at school. It doesn't get blocked or anything. Use it at home. Use it wherever when you have internet. And it works just as good as original Snapchat. So that's it for this video. Uh, that's practically it.